Hey, what's up guys? This is Brother Neil with Neil Reyes Ministries, and I want to welcome you to today's edition of Champions Walk. Today we have something very special lined up. Normally on the Champions Walk broadcast, we do a teaching of some sort, whether it be an individual teaching or a teaching that's part of a series. But today we have something very different. We have something that I feel is very special. It's what I believe the Lord has given me as a prophetic word to the body of Christ for the year 2016. You know, each year when we start to close out a year, one of the things I personally do is I'm very into goal setting. I'm not real big into New Year's resolutions, not necessarily against that either. If that's something God's given you, I think that's great. But for me and my family, I'm more into goal setting. And I believe goal setting can be done at any time. And one of the effective things about goal setting is when you create a goal, it should be something that's very specific that you want to obtain or that you want to achieve. And as you do so, you then put a plan together with it, which are the list of the steps that you feel need to occur in order to accomplish or achieve that goal. And then you look at those steps and that plan and you mark down barriers or distractions, things that you feel can pull you away or prevent you from achieving those steps. That way you know to steer clear of them. And as you do that and you walk through that plan, eventually you will achieve or accomplish the goal that you keep steadily in front of you. Well, I treat the end of the year much like I treat the beginning of the year. In fact, around uh, 2015 last year in September of October of that time frame, I started to really focus on what my year looked like. I started to focus on what the goals were that I had set for 2015, and I started to examine where I was at with those goals. Had I accomplished them? Was I in the middle of them? Was I barely starting them? You know, whatever those goals were, those were things that I was looking at on where I was at with accomplishing it. At the same time, the Lord had put it on my heart to start focusing on what I wanted to accomplish for 2016. That did not mean that I set down the old and picked up the new. No, they were both at simultaneously working. I was completing a thing and getting ready to begin a thing. I was completing a thing and preparing to begin a thing. And so as I did that, one of the things I had went before the Lord on is I asked him if he was going to have a spoken word that he wanted me to deliver to the body of Christ for 2016. One of the things that he did in 2015 is he had given me a spoken word through our ministry for the body of Christ. And hopefully you've been able to hear that and follow that. And I will tell you that there is some specific instruction in there that didn't apply just to 2015 only, but are things you should you can still be following within your life that will bring great reward for you, great habits. As we did that, though, I asked him and then I left it before him. It wasn't something that I was seeking. It wasn't, oh, Lord, please give me a word. No. One of the things I've learned is with the movings and givings of the Holy Spirit, the operations of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will operate as he chooses. There is nothing, and I will say this clearly, there is nothing a person can do to um, reproduce to manufacture or produce a moving of the Holy Spirit. There are things as believers we can do to position ourselves to be used by God. There are things we can do to position ourselves to have Him operate in our lives. But one of the things we cannot do is produce or manufacture a moving or gift of the Holy Spirit without His anointing upon it. And so when I went before him and asked him if there was a spoken word he had for me, I left it before him. And on January 31st of 2015, the Lord woke me up and pulled me out of my sleep with the message that he had for the body of Christ. As he did that and I woke up that morning, I was up a little bit late the night before and I woke up so refreshed. In fact, when he pulled me out, I knew that I had already gotten the sleep I needed to for that day. But like most people, it was early in the morning. My first thought was, hmm, should I go back to bed? But as I laid there and I and I realized, you know, why did I wake up so early and so refreshed? And I got still and quiet for a minute and inquired of the Lord, Lord, do you want to speak? I knew he had something he wanted me to speak about or speak to me about. And so as I went downstairs and got my laptop out and prepared myself and put myself before him, the Lord ministered to me what I believe is a very encouraging prophetic word for the year 2016. I want to go ahead and share that with you now, and I pray you find it a blessing. This is from the Lord. 
2016 will be known as the year of the or my open door. People often state that it feels as if time flies or if the days are getting shorter as a phrase when speaking. They often state this as a phrase for not accomplishing as much in a given day as they would have liked. There is truth to this statement, but for a different purpose. I have set things on an accelerated timetable and am causing your time to move faster than normal. You will still have 24 hours in a day, but what you do with those hours, minutes, and seconds will be drastically altered based on how you apply your time. Will you give your attention to my needs or continue to focus on mundane tasks of this world that bear no fruit? I have set each of you on an assignment that my body needs to have fulfilled in order to be whole, in order to be a complete functioning system. But you will each have different responsibilities. No two parts of the body have the same purpose, function, or responsibility. In the body, I have created many unique individual parts with no equal or duplicate. These parts are each required to perform their function or responsibility at a high level in order for the body to flow smoothly and operate at peak performance. If even one part is off, irregular, missing, or broken, the whole, entire body is aware of it and will have to compromise for the missing function no matter how large or small, great or insignificant it may seem. Likewise with the parts of the body that have two or more duplicate parts, no two parts are the same and hold the same function. Some may seem similar in nature, but each has a view of the body of the world from a unique perspective. Just like no two people can occupy the same exact space and time at any given point in time, no two parts of the body can occupy the same exact space and time at any given time either. Each has been created and assigned with a specific task in mind, and even when it appears they are merely a duplicate with duplicate or redundant functions, each part is crafted and designed to view the world from a unique angle, view, or perspective. My body has been designed to run the same way, and the time has come to impart all my anointings and spiritual gifts on my body to perform a witness and partaking of faith like no other. My anointing has always been on the earth, but only a select have discovered it and have desired to tap into it. Even my own children who know me oftentimes do not seek to flow in my anointing. But I have set this world on an accelerated path, and much like a river current, you will either be fighting against the current or stepping into it. My currents in life can either take a person back or drastically move them forward to another part in time. A time where it seems as though it requires little to no effort to move. And although I require a great effort, a great responsibility by my chosen, just like when you are in a river current, when you dive into my current, each move you perform will have drastic and highly emphasized results. In the natural one stroke of your hand or swing of your leg might move you a foot or two in any given direction. But in my current, a wave of the finger, a move of the hand, a swing of the arm or leg will take you great distances. But those distances can be either be forward or backwards depending on the direction you are choosing to face. Being a child of mine is the determining factor on whether you are able to step into my accelerated current of blessing. Without being known by me, you can never step into this current that will move you drastically forward in your assignment or your calling. But regardless if you are a child of mine or not, anyone can misstep and work against the flow or step into a current headed the wrong direction. Which direction or current you fall into as a believer 
will be determined by what you keep your sight on or what captures your focus. Will you focus on me? And by doing so, the assignment and calling I've placed on your life? Or will you focus on the world and the mundane tasks that beckon for your attention? Every individual, no matter what country, region, or city you live in, has responsibilities for my name's sake. And every individual has responsibilities with this world's at within this world's atmosphere that you are responsible for. Whether your responsibility is to work, go to school, take care of the house, tend to your children, or watch a parent or loved one, each of these responsibilities can be used to glorify me or steal from my relationship with you. My highest and greatest desire in life is that all would get saved and come to know me through the Son. When I crafted and designed man, I did so with the purpose and intention of fellowshipping with them. I greatly desire to fellowship and spend quality time with my children, and it brings me extensive pleasure without number when one of my children openly chooses to fellowship with me and takes time to seek me out. 2016 is known as the year of my open door. I have given you an invitation a personal invite to come into my presence and know me as never before, to fellowship with me in an entirely new way. 2016 will be a springboard for you to enter into my presence and to step into my current as never before. If you do so, you will accomplish things for me on an accelerated path that significantly moves you past others around you. The items that took 20, 30, or even 40 years to accomplish in the past will take a matter of days, weeks, or months in my new accelerated time current. What will you choose to do with that time? Will you draw closer to me and step fully into my current? Or will you fade away into the nothingness of this world and a busy lifestyle that promises to satiate your hunger, but always leaves you drawing and yearning for more? I love you dearly, my child, and am waiting. You know, that's a powerful word that the Lord has given us right there. And I pray that you are able to spend time and meditate on this. You know, the act of meditation is focusing on something and spending time thinking on it. And it's the practice of reading or hearing or listening to something and practicing saying it out. You know, one of the things that tells us in Habakkuk 2.2 is to write the vision and make it plain. As you enter into 2016, and whenever you come into contact with this spoken word, whether if you're coming into contact with it at the beginning of the year, or if you're coming into contact with it a day before the end of the year, whatever it is, make sure that you focus on this word. Make sure that you spend time reading it or listening to it, that you let it go ahead and get down in your inner parts, in your inner being. Let your spirit man absorb it and let the Holy Spirit bear witness to you. I feel that we're living in a time that's clearly reflected in this, uh, oh, this uh, spoken word, that we're in a time where God is choosing to do great things on this earth through His men and women of Christ. One of the things the word says is that in the end times He would pour upon His spirit on all flesh. That means that just like His word says, He's no respecter of persons, that means that whether you're old or or young, whether you're a, you know, an, a female or a male, it doesn't matter. He's no respecter of persons. His Holy Spirit's going to pour upon all flesh. We cannot manufacture or reproduce or, you know, produce a movement of the Holy Spirit. But what we can do as believers is to keep ourselves before Him, to make sure that we're usable by Him, that we're pliable about Him, and pliable by Him, and that we're able to be used for Him in great ways. I pray that 2016, as you step into this year, that it's a new year for you with new promise, that it's a new year with new hope, and that it's a new year with new encouragement for you. So many times I come across people who are so excited to escape a year and go into a new one because the previous year was so hard or so challenging.
You know, one of the things I will share with you is that, yes, challenging things come up. I'm certainly not going to speak against the fact that people go through challenging things, and I'm certainly not going to judge that. But what I will share with you is that sometimes God uses challenging circumstances or challenging events within our lives to grow and produce in us a stronger character or a stronger faith to move us forward. You know, God's Word tells us that He's no respecter of persons. However, it clearly shows us in His Word that He is a great respecter of faith. In fact, it tells us clearly that without faith, it's impossible to please God. As you step into 2016, whether you're coming off of a record-setting year in 2015 or whether if it was a year that you barely limped into 2016, Either way, I want to encourage you to spend time meditating on the spoken word. I want to spend t uh, encourage you to spend time seeking before God, opening your heart before Him, being after His own heart and asking Him, Lord, what is it you want to speak to me for this year? What is it you want me to accomplish? No matter how big or how small a life you're living, God always has something better for you to accomplish. God always has something better for you to experience. That's who He is. He's a living God, a moving God. He's a God of increase, and He's a God of blessing. And I believe He'll bring blessing into every area of your life. Guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to stop by today. We encourage you to continue to follow us online. You can find us on our website at www.neilreyesministries.com or you can find us on Twitter uh, at Neil underscore Reyes or you can find us on Facebook at Neil Reyes Ministries or on YouTube on our YouTube channel at Neil Reyes Ministries. We're so grateful that you've taken the time to stop by. I pray that this word is sown deep into you and that it's connected with those rivers of living water inside of you, that it's a seed that grows strong root and produces strong harvest at the top and that you're able to be blessed immensely by it. We thank you so much and we're praying for you and love you. Have a blessed day.